plays a lot of fucking games. I said, oh, World Gamer plays a lot of fucking games. He plays a lot in day. He plays his life away. He said, oh, World Gamer plays a lot of fucking games. <laughs> Hey everybody, what's up? It's the Old World Gamer. I'm back for some more Donkey Kong Country. And, uh, yeah, we're gonna do the water level of this one. Which is called Poison Pond, which, thankfully, you don't actually die because there's poison in the pond or anything, but, um, I find that this is probably one of, you know, this, this water level is not as hard as the one, like the Croctopus Chase. Although they do do this part a lot. Oh, let's just put a little place over this way. Oh, okay, I'm gonna risk myself. Oh, it's just for a bunch of bananas. Well, thanks developers for being a bunch of asses, and they basically were, so. <laughs> uh, I just got home, there's an accident not too far, whoa, there's an accident not too far away from our place that happened, I guess, and I don't know, it seems like a lot of people get into accidents there, I don't know what the hell they're doing all the time, but it seems like, I don't know, and more bananas, oh, cocksucker. But yeah, it seems like a lot of people get into accidents near our place, and again, you always hear the ambulance. Ooh, oh, the ambulance is Jesus. Okay, maybe this one's a little bit harder than I thought. <laughs> but yeah, you always hear ambulances around by our place and cop cars and stuff. Is I don't know if people are just retarded when they get near our place or, or what happens, but yeah, it, it just seems like oh yeah, more bananas. Oh, okay, that was a stupid move. I shouldn't have even went for the bananas. That's my own dumb fault. Yeah, I don't know if people are just accent prone around our place or not, but whatever. Not even gonna care about the K anymore. Let's just uh, get through this level as best as possible without dying again, hopefully. And, uh, yeah, uh, I got. I've been doing vlogs, obviously. I know a lot of you have watched them and stuff, and I'm actually getting really good responses from people, and people are being really nice, and, you know, they, they give me more confidence, and they have more belief in what I can do and stuff and that makes me happy because it's nice to know that people you know think highly of you no matter who it is really and uh, it, it was just n whoa that was really close it was just really nice to see some of those comments and uh, one thing that I'm probably gonna start doing with my vlogs is that I'm probably not gonna be ah! God, it was way too close I'm probably not gonna be answering the um, all the comments all the time and instead what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave a lot of them there and just you know, base my vlogs off of those as well, and just, you know, talk about those things. Um, like, I have one guy, gray t-shirt, man, oh, that could be wrong. Yeah, I just made sure, his name is gray t-shirt, man, and he was really nice. He left me, like, uh, God, it was, like, six or seven comments in the comments field, and, uh, you know, he, he just, you know, related to me a lot. <coughs> Excuse me. And just, I don't know, I just thought it was really nice and it was really cool that, you know, there's somebody else out there, you know. Obviously, there, a lot of people do feel the same way about these types of things, and uh, it's just that a lot of people don't know these other people who feel the same way about certain things. So, it was just really nice to have that out there, and, you know, uh, I shouldn't say that I won't respond to comments, because I'm, obviously, yes, I'm going to respond to them uh, eventually, all of them. But, I mean, you know, sometimes it just, a lot of them seem like words of encouragement more than anything else. And, which is, again, not a bad thing, but, uh, you know, I just kind of like to leave, let them stand alone on their own because of the meaning that they hold and stuff, so, I mean, I'm still kind of undecided about that, but I do know a lot of people, uh, feel, you know, the same way and that, you know, they enjoy watching my vlogs because they're getting to know me better and, you know, just the way how I can relate to people, because I know that we all have a lot of similar things in common, I mean, you know, that's just a given. And, uh, yeah, I think that as a community, an LP community, that we should all be, you know, getting together and talking about these kind of things and discussing stuff that bothers all of us and, you know, let everyone know how you feel about stuff and no more of this trolling bullshit and stuff. I mean, I don't care if you're fucking 12 years old or if you're fucking 50. I mean, I've got, I, I know lots of older dudes who are like 50 years old who, you know, who, who can feel young at heart and stuff, but, you know, still have their knowledge and wisdom intact and, you know, aren't, well, I don't know how, how much this word is used outside of Newfoundland, but they're not skeety old dudes who just seem like they're hanging around because 
you know, all they want to do is hang out with young people. It's nothing like that at all. It's, they're just really nice people, and I don't know. I like to get along with as many people as possible, and you know, I think that's the way that the LP community should be. I mean, who cares about age? Who cares about you know any of that stuff? And I mean, people also have to you know take into consideration, obviously, that uh, you know, it, it, no one's gonna be nice to you if you're not nice to them. And I mean. You know, no one's gonna feel bad for you if you're being an asshole to them all the time. So, I mean, you know, take the time to actually get to know someone and, you know, you'd be surprised. Most of the people who I talk to, the whoa, shit. Oh, let's see if we can't get on garbage. Fuck. Oh, well, there's a DK barrel, so that's nice. Um, but yeah, take the time to, Jesus, I'm gonna die. No, I'm not. Okay. But yeah, take the time to actually get to know some of these people. I mean, you know, like I said, most of the people I talk to and converse with the most, and who I, I like doing races with, and co-ops, and all this other stuff, those are all people who actually take the time to get to know me. And not just by leaving, you know, a scattered one or two comments here and there, but they're the people who go through the trouble of letting me know that they're watching my stuff, and that they are commenting, and... You know, they, they put a lot of time and effort into it, and I, I think that, you know, again, we should all do that, and I'm not the best one to say that for the fact that there's a lot of times that, you know, I don't respond to comments, or I don't watch someone's videos, and it's not because I don't want to, it's usually just because I'm, I'm busy, and I, you know, totally expect that from other people as well, but I mean, you know, if you're not going to school, or you don't have a job, and you're just pretty much one of those people who just stay at home all day, then, I mean, quite honestly, no offense, but you don't have an excuse. <laughs> Whoa. Some of those piranhas are really fast. But I'm not saying that, you know, because you're living at home and you have nothing else better to do, that you should just be watching other people's LPs and, you know, networking and stuff. Well, that'll help you in the long run. But, I mean, you know, there, I mean, you could be working on your stuff, whatever. Whatever, you know, works best. But what I'm trying to say is that, you know, there, obviously everyone's going to have an excuse for that kind of stuff. And... Oh, I'm on such a random tangent right now. I don't know. I, I can't even remember how I got into this. But either way, what I'm saying is that uh, as a community, we should all be a lot nicer to each other. And my God. <sighs> uh, well, and this is the one where you jump out. Oh, crap. Uh, uh, babe, this is where I'm going to die alive. So, uh, yeah, okay. Oh, okay. I thought there was going to be a bonus up here. I guess not. Okay, so... Switch up carts. Now, I believe if you stay in the other cart, you can still live or whatever. You just take the bottom track instead of the top one. And I don't really see what the difference was there, but again, it's not very often I took the bottom track anyways, but... Oh, wow. That was... That was... Wow. Dumb. Uh, so, yeah. <laughs> so, since the mentioning of the whole um, birthday, YouTube birthday stream thing and... The few things that I'm going to be doing. It seems like a lot, a lot of people are interested in that too. And again, especially the people who pay the most attention to my work and my videos and, you know, follow me and like the things that I do kind of thing. I know it sounds kind of cheesy when I say it like that, but yeah, those people seem to be really excited for it. And I hope I can get more people excited. I'm really hoping to have at least 300 subs by the time. Jesus, leche. But yeah, I'm hoping to have at least 300 subs by the time my birthday comes rolls around, which is only seven more. It's not that much, and I'm not trying to be a stat slash sub whore like well, some people I do know. I don't know. <laughs> I'm pretty sure some of you know who I'm talking about in regards to you know stat whores. But yeah. oh, I missed that. Oh. Hopefully, I won't miss it the second time. But yeah, uh, I don't get that. I mean. I appreciate it, having lots of subs and lots of views too, who doesn't, that's the whole point of being on YouTube, yes. But I mean, when, when that's all you want to talk about is, oh, what should I do next, and oh, did you guys see this video that I made, and uh, do you guys think that I should do this so I can get more subs, or oh, I'd like to keep my subs around a really nice round number, like 280 or 290, it's like, okay, whoa, okay, that's, that's nice and all, I'm sure everybody likes that and has that same type of OCD, but... Quite honestly, dude, you're, you're just being a stat whore. Plain and simple. There's no bullshit around it. There's, you're being a stat whore. Stop worrying about, like, how many subscribers you have and how many views you get and worrying about money and get yourself either a job or something. Like, I don't know. <sighs> but don't worry. Those, these people that I'm referring to or talking about aren't 
uh, any of my subscribers, so it's no big worry about anything like that. Don't don't worry about that or anything. And that was an incredibly dumb death. I can't believe I just hit a naughty. I feel ashamed and somewhat dirty. Uh, but yeah, I'm still looking for more suggestions, some other things. I have some people who said they'd like to, to join me. Uh, I'm not a, in streams. I'm not a real big person with having people join me for streams or anything. Oh shit! There we go. I, I hate. I don't want to do another bonus level. <laughs> But yeah, um, I'm not usually the type of person who has someone in a stream or anything with me. I've never done a co-op or, uh, I haven't really even initiated a- oh, fuck's sakes. I haven't really initiated any races either. Usually people ask me, and I'm fine with that. It's just that I don't like being the one who has to plan that stuff out because, again, well, those of you who know me, you know, I I'm always, always, always busy. Plus I have the college thing going. Plus I'm with the faction of players, so I mean, there's always- I don't know why I keep going to this stupid bonus. But, um, yeah, I always try to keep myself busy. And plus, I have my own channel. I have the cooking channel, the fop channel, it's college and stuff. And, you know, I, I try to keep up with all that. Now, that's not to say that I won't come and join someone's stream or I won't co-op or do a race with them. Uh, most recently, I did do the Metroid thing with Blind Man's World. And I've mentioned that several times now, I'm sure. But uh, I do plan on putting it out uh, as soon as I can. And, wow, this... This LP uh, part is horrible for the graphical glitches this time. I don't know why. I think it was the extension that I chose. It was probably a fucking uh, MP4 or something. But from now, oh god, look at how horrible that is. Jesus, I thought I fucking fell in the pit just then. Now I'm afraid that I'm gonna die again. Okay, good, we're done. Fuck those minecarts. <sighs> so there's just one more stage left. And of course, let's go back and save so we don't have to go through that stupid level again. There we go. No, last time we were, I think it was 64%, so 66. <laughs> not too bad, not too bad at all. So yeah, and I can't remember, I think that the boss of this one is the Dum Drum, Boss Dum Drum or something like that. Oh God. Blackout Basement. Oh God. Which is, quite honestly, it's, it's, it's a smart whoa. That's why you have to take your time carefully, because if you go too fast, a Kremlin is going to sneak up on you. As you can see there, there's one. There he is. And then there's pits everywhere. I mean, again, yeah, this was a great idea. They should have used a lot more of these in the Donkey Kong games, because um, it worked well. And thank God that wasn't one of those uh, platforms that fall, because that would have sucked. Oh, God. Ooh, okay, this is kind of nerve-wracking. Uh, I, I don't know why, but I can always remember when I was younger that this game was not even hard at all. It's probably because I was so used to platforming games at the time that I found, I guess, this entire series pretty easy, actually. I mean, yeah, once you first start playing it, you're like, oh, okay, this is... Oh. See, there we go. First death in that stage. This is going to take a little bit. But, um... Yeah, it just seemed like, you know, like, like any other game that you first start playing, like, oh, okay, this one's, uh, you know, a bit hard at first, but once you start getting used to the mechanics and the physics in the game, you start realizing, okay, I can do this, and I can do this, and I can do this. So, you know, you get used to the game, but it seemed like when I was younger, it was way easier and way faster to get into the game and know exactly what you were doing, and now it's more of a challenge because it seems like uh, you have to take it one step at a time and... There's been so many games, obviously, in between these that, you know, you have to take your time and reintroduce yourself to this game rather than just jumping into it. It just seemed like, I don't know, again, when I was younger, it was just seemed like I could jump into the game and just keep going. And within a weekend, I, I would usually finish a Donkey Kong Country game, even if it was, you know, just out last week, which is, you know, not a shitty thing. It's, oh, fuck. It has, you know, lower replay value in regards to that because, you know, I finished it too quickly, but, uh, well, I didn't realize that if you roll down there, you kept rolling. Oh, that's pretty cool. Hmm. See, even now I learn new things about this game. And, tum tum. Oh, let's see if I can get the halfway point this time. It's usually the platforms that give me the most issues here, and... Uh, again, I'm really disappointed that 
the MP4 extension that did this to the video. It just, I don't know, it just makes it look disgusting, really. It's weird, you think that there wouldn't be so many uh, graphical glitches as this, you know, in a recording even, because, I don't know, it's not like it did anything to, you know, instigate that or whatever, but whatever. I just know that next time I won't be using MP4. I'm probably going to be recording MT, uh, M2T. Now, for any of you guys who did not hear me talk about M2T before, it's an MPEG Layer 2 codec, which basically, um, instead of being an MPEG, it's going to record in that, the M2T, instead. Which uh, is a really, really good uh, extension. Like, it looks really nice. And it makes your HD become a lot crisper and a lot cleaner, at least in my opinion anyways. So, I mean, give it a try. If you'd like it, great. If you don't, well, there's nothing I can do about that either, really. I mean, you know. And again, I use this in debut, so uh, I've never had any problems, really, with debut. Um, except for when I was recording with the Dazzle on the laptop. I don't know why, but for some reason on laptops, it doesn't seem like um, debut really likes them for some reason. I don't know why. You know, there's no... Whoa. Clo oh, I'm dead. <laughs> I called that. But, uh, yeah. Uh, I'm probably going to auto-record an M2T or I might go back to the DBNTSC because for the, you know, 16 and 8... or 16 and 18-bit, Jesus. For the 8-bit and 16-bit games and even the N64 stuff... I can do all of that with DVNTSC, and it seems to always come out really nice. It could have been a WNV too. It might not have been MP4 that I recorded this in. But either way, I, like I said, I'm probably going to start picking something that I kn I'm more familiar with and I know will give me the quality that I am looking for. Oh god. Okay. Oh, platforms again. Go. Oh, this is always the hard part of the uh, of this blackout basement. I really hate this stage. That and there's the other one where you're on these little things where you have to pick up fuel for them later. Oh god. Okay, that was close again. But yeah, where you're on these platforms later and uh, oh shit, these are the singing platforms. But yeah, you, you gotta go from um, you gotta keep collecting gasoline or fuel for them or whatever you want to call it for these platforms, these moving platforms, and I've really can't stand them at all and if you stay here bonus do 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 be do do in a barrel who gives a fuck about the end I just want to get the bonus then leave the stage as quick as I can uh now what do I think that I might need this for something important oh crap oh oh that's no good Oh, apparently I hit him. I get, I, yep. Whoa! Wham, wham. Four Kremlings in a row there. Wow, they really wanted to make sure that you got hit or something there. Oh, I believe we're almost done. We're so, oh. Yeah, one last claptrap at the end just to fuck around with you. Oh, so, let's move our way to Boss Dum Drum. But before we do that, let's go all the way back and save our game. Hot, sexy, monkey, candy. Look at her, her little bathing suit thing. Why is it a one piece? Uh, and, of course, I have a... Uh, sorry for anybody whose Skype name pops up on my screen like it is there now. Um, I guess it's a mini shout-out for those who know those people. If you don't, well, that's all I can do. Uh, I'm not going to say I'm too lazy to edit it out. I probably could, but it, it, I don't think it's that big a deal. I don't know, if someone gets bum hurt about it, I'll probably, you know, fix it or something, but otherwise, I'm not going to bother too badly, so. And as you can see here, the, the, the boss dum drum, or this barrel thing that keeps dropping down, is easy as fuck to beat. You just move out of the way, it stamps one, two, three, four, I think five times, eventually, and it just keeps, oh, fuck. Fuck six, there we go. It just keeps dropping enemies over and over again, so, I mean, in, until you get the fifth time, I mean, it, it's not hard by any means. And now, uh, cartwheel! That's one of the only ways that, well, oh, that's the only way, shit, that Diddy can kill those, so, make sure you know that, that you can cartwheel into them. Oh, crap, oh, crap, oh, crap! Oh, 
fucking armadillos. Why are they last? Well, because duty bounces, that's why. I'm... So when you bounce off of one, the other one is gonna fucking kill you. While he's still rolling around and shit, so that's probably why. And I'm pretty much over my flu. I still have a little bit, every now and again, my nose will feel a little stuffed up, or uh, I'll have to, a little bit of a cough, I guess. But yeah, it's almost done. Thank God. I'm so sick of having this now. More clap traps. Ow, ow. And run away. Two, three, four. Shake it somehow. And wham. Cartwheel, cartwheel. Run away. One, two, three, four. One more. Five. And these should be the armadillos, should be the last enemies that we have to fight. What? Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Okay, there we go. Jesus. Hmm, that's right. Customary slap on the ground. So, that's pretty much it. We got this uh, stage world all uh, wrapped up. Next we have Chimp Caverns. So, uh, I guess we'll get to that one very soon in the next installment of Donkey Kong Country. So as always, thank you guys for watching. I'm the Old World Gamer, and I'll see you guys soon in the next episode. Later, guys. Fuck me! Fuck you!